Hello traders, so welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the module 1 introduction to Ninja Trader. In this lesson, I'm going to give you an overview of the control center. And uh, I think this is very important because before we try to go onto uh, the charts and start trading uh, on the futures market, I th uh, we need to understand all the metrics that we can find on the control center and how these metrics are going to help us improve as a trader and how these metrics are going to uh, make us even more profitable in the long run. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the control center and as you can see the first tab that we are going to view or we are going to go through is the orders tab. Uh, right here we have all the orders that have been either filled or cancelled uh, and uh, just by looking at what has been filled and, and uh, cancelled you can see what uh, well what um, trades are we on and what trades have been closed either on a um, profit or on a loss for instance we have the first trade right here which is a buy on the the gold contracts or five contracts and right here we have a sell um, and the order type is this uh, I bought the five contracts on the market and I got stopped out on a loss and I cancelled just look at this uh, the state of this order was cancelled my limit order of five contracts on gold which means that uh, I had to cancel my take profit because I got stopped out on a loss and right here you can see that we have uh, uh, we have two trades open we have uh, one in crude of one contract and one in gold of one contract okay now let's say we want to add to this gold uh, to this gold um, uh, trade on the long side we just we just choose the right name of the contract and the right expiration and uh, uh, we just buy this uh, on the market on oh, let's say that we want to actually close uh, the gold uh, trade uh, we are we are right now on the buy side of one contract so we are going to sell one contract and it's going to flatten us Now, um, let's go to the strategies tab and this tab, uh, we're going to go into depth about this tab when we actually start uh, our Superdome module because on this tab you are going to have uh, the positions that uh, you are on uh, uh, or that uh, were filled by using a strategy that you decided to save onto your platform. If we go to the execution order, you can see that uh, all the executions that um, we have made on uh, the trading day. And you can see uh, the five contracts on the buy side on gold and then the exit or the, on the sell side. We have an entry on crude, which hasn't, hasn't had an exit yet. And of course, we uh, have the one contract on the buy side and the exit that we just took on the sell side. The positions tab is going to give you the open positions that you already have uh, or that you have run in on, uh, on, your, on your account. And as you can see, we only have one position on crude uh, and uh, it will give you your profit and loss. And in this case, we are up $70 on this trade. The accounts tab is going to give you all the information of all of your accounts. Remember that with Ninja Traders, you can have more than one account on your uh, platform but uh, for this module or uh, for this course we are only uh, trading with one account you have the buying power the cash value the excess equity and of course the realized PL for the day every uh, at, at the close of every single day this PL is going to uh, run down back to zero and start over and I think that this is the most important tab that you will find on the control center, which is the account performance. And uh, this is the account performance for uh, this account. And because this account uh, uh, well was generated today, I'm only uh, choosing to have. Uh, I'm only choosing to uh, look at the data for today. And as you can see, we are down one thousand one hundred and ninety dollars, uh, and. Um, and uh, all of our trades have been on the long side. This is the cool thing about this summary because it gives you all 
all, or, I mean the total net profit of all of your trades and it divided it between long and short trades and uh, of course you can look at the uh, gross losses and the gross profit uh, which gives you of course the total net profit uh, the profit factor uh, the cumulative profit factor the maximum drawdown uh, which is the one that we are right now which is uh, minus 0 0.22 of our account which is absolutely nothing but still it's a small drawdown and a share sh uh, and a sharp ratio now uh, you can also look at the total of trades and uh, you can uh, start dissecting uh, this data uh, trade by trade or and of course long trades by short trades with uh, your max uh, maximum consecutive winners and losers and uh, this will give you of course uh, an idea of uh, what of uh, your your actually your um, losing streaks or how big your losing streaks are and of course uh, you have to look at the ratio average win uh, versus average loss and which is also or has to do with uh, how big your losing streaks are and of course you need to understand what these metrics at the bottom are the average MAA stands for maximum favor favorable execution and the MAE maximum adverse execution which measures the potential in your trading strategy the MFE calculates the uh, maximal unrealized profit during the uh, period and the MAE calculates the maximal unrealized loss during the period so this means that if uh, let's say that uh, we are calculating the uh, or we want to know the M MFA during one trade and uh, you made uh, 16 ticks on the trade but uh, the maximum that you could have made on the trade was 70 pips uh, or 70 ticks the um, MFE is going to be very high Thus, uh, and uh, the MAE is not going to be that high at all. If the um, actual position didn't have so much of a drawdown. But these metrics are very important for uh, or to understand how profitable your uh, trading strategy is and how much money you are leaving on the table. And basically this is how uh, what uh, the control center is going to teach you and uh, of course uh, all the metrics that you can look at and you can also look at graphs for example the cumulative profit of your account the daily net profit of your account the distribution of the the profit of your account for instance uh, we have uh, uh, a half hourly distribution but if you want days of the week distribution you can also choose to do so and uh, uh, you can even have a monthly net profit distribution and you can always change the date uh, on which you want to generate the report from.